everyone, what's going on? It's Jeff Dre with DreInTheKitchen.com. So today, we're gonna to bring you something that's really special and close to my heart. So, I don't know about you guys, but I did that Ancestry DNA, and it told me that I was really a large percentage from Spain. So I had to listen. Some of my favorite things is, I have a favorite restaurant that's in New York City. Thank goodness they're still there, and they're Spanish. So this is very influenced by my heritage from Spain. So let me show you what we're gonna do. Of course, I'm gonna use my Le Creuset, but my addition to this, this can be completely vegetarian. In my case, pork fat rules, so there will be some pork fat in here. So I'm gonna use some pancheta. We're gonna use some Spanish sweet smoked paprika or pimenton, salt, my peppercorn melange mix. So this is gonna be a bean dish. I love cannellinis. They're just very buttery, they're great. You can use butter beans, you can use navy beans. If you use dry beans, make sure that you soak them overnight. But if not, feel free to use a can. And then the secret ingredient is I have powdered saffron. So stay tuned, because we're gonna put this all together now. So now we're all ready. I have, of course, Le Creuset enameled. Let's heat this up. So this is an even conductor of heat. So just keep that in mind when you put your, your temperature on. I have it on medium. Now be cautious. I'm used to doing this, but I'm brave enough to stick my hands in a hot pot. Please don't do that at home and burn yourselves. I'm just testing it out to see when it's ready. So I have a big, thick piece of pancetta. It's just, un it's delicious. Anyone, you can use regular bacon. I just didn't want that smokiness, so pancetta is my uh, pork fat of choice. In a cold pan, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in. If you don't wanna have uh, pork, you can omit this step and just use, but of course, like I said, pork fat rules in our lives. To this, I'm gonna add, just to speed the process, probably like just a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, just to help it along. Use the good stuff, and this will come together. So I went ahead and rinsed our beans. I minced to add some shallots. We have some freshly chopped garlic, and I'm gonna use unsalted vegetable stock. I didn't make any of my own, but one of my favorite brands is Kitchen Basics. It's really tasty and really, really good. So let's go ahead and give this a little helping hand. And why do you put this in in a cold pot? You want it to render out. So pancetta is very fatty. And the fat is what's really gonna give you that salty flavor and that deliciousness that's gonna happen in here. I promise you, it's gonna be good. So we'll just let that go, give it about a minute or so, and then we'll get going. Mm -mm -mm. We'll raise you up just to give it a head start. When it starts to sizzle, that's the pan talking to you. So that's what you really wanna hear. So I raise the temperature just a little bit because this will come to temp very, very quickly. Oh, hang on, I'm missing a spoon. Don't laugh, but this is my favorite little spoon. This is a grapefruit spoon, but I use this specifically for my sweet paprika. I know I have issues, but you guys know that about me already. So there's our sizzle. And that's what you wanna hear. So we're gonna leave this for about a minute or two and let it do its magic. Continue to stir it so it doesn't stick and burn. I wish you could smell this, it's so good. So we're gonna do this for about three or four minutes and then we'll be right back and I'll show you the next step. All right, so the time has come. Look at this gorgeous pancetta. Let's take it out. I started putting it into the bowl. Now the beautiful thing here is that you've got this beautiful fat in here with flavor and it's oh, so good. So this is gonna go back in, so don't you worry. But now the pan is nice and warm. There's a little oil. You don't have to add anything else. I'm gonna put in, I'm not using all the shallots, I just like to prepare, because I'm gonna, you never know how much I'm gonna decide to use. It's probably about, say, three tablespoons of shallots. These are my measurements, I use hands. To this, we're gonna add probably about three or four cloves of garlic. Okay, maybe a little more. 
and then let's stir it all. I don't know about y'all, but garlic and shallots and pork fat, I'm in heaven. Let this sweat out for about a good 60 to 90 seconds. You, I'm stirring it constantly because I don't want the garlic to burn, but you want it to, it's an aromatic. So your whole house at this point is probably smelling pretty amazing. All right, so while that continues, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna add a little black pepper, about a quarter teaspoon. I freshly grind my own peppercorn melange. Literally not even a pinch of salt. We will assess that at the very end. Remember, pancetta has salt, so I don't want to overdo it. Let this go. Now I'm going to add my pimentón. What's pimentón? Sweet Spanish paprika. Ha! Oven says it's ready. Stay tuned for what that's about. To this, I'm going to add in about half a teaspoon. I lied. Make it a teaspoon of Spanish paprika. Now, once you put this in here, you want to stir immediately. You do not want it to sit too long because it can become bitter. So you want to quickly infuse that. Just stir, stir, stir. Oh. I'm going to add in my secret weapon. This is powdered saffron. This is probably not much. It's even less than an eighth of a teaspoon. That's going to give you those Mediterranean flavors that are just amazing. Let's add in our beans. If you're using a can of beans, make sure you rinse them thoroughly. In they go. Stir it all together. Look at these colors. Doesn't it look amazing? Now we're going to put in our pancetta again. Mm, 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 my goodness. And then to this, we're going to add some vegetable stock, probably the equivalent of a cup. Then you're going to let this simmer for about a good 15 to 20 minutes. Look at that. Let it come to a boil, then reduce it down to a simmer. It's not going to be like a soup. This will reduce slightly. And then we're going to reassess it and taste it if it needs salt or pepper. I, from the smell, I don't think it needs anything. Bring it to the boil, let it simmer. Stay tuned for when it's completely all done together. So the time has come. We've let this go. It's simmered for about a good 15 to 20 minutes. So take a look at this. Oh my goodness. I just have a little ramekin here. I'm gonna put a little of the beans. So this can be great by itself. You can add this if rice is your thing, add it to your rice. For those, you can turn this into a stool, just reduce it a little further. So let's take a little bit, because you know I have to taste this, right? It's just, I have to. Put a little bit in this bowl, oh my goodness. Take a spoon. Look at those Mediterranean colors. Tell me that is not divine. Okay, I'll shut up now. Let's taste. Mmm. Mmm. I'm having a moment, excuse me. Mmm. So you get to taste literally the paprika, the saffron. You almost taste the pancetta in there, the, the, the rendered fat from the pancetta. This is so good. So I hope you make this. Now I'm gonna go back to eating this because this is really good. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure you comment, like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and we will see you very, very soon. I'm gonna go back to eating. Bye.